Scott said, My question on general principles of prophecy is this. During the years a prophet is engaged in ongoing gross sin and or abusing the prophetic office for personal desires, are the prophecies issued during that time, or thereafter, if not repented of, subject to greater scrutiny, caution or if blatant enough and long enough, dismissal. In Mr. Bickle's case so far we are talking about at least a several year time frame for an acknowledged failure and abuse. If we take him out of the question for the moment, is there a general principle involved either from scripture or that is generally accepted that is applicable to my question? Ruth said, Sam Storms and Michael Sullivan are the men I've been wanting to hear from, but knew they would not rush to make a statement. This is a godly response and the kind of spiritual maturity I expected from Mike Bickle. I have been thinking about how devastated these men must be, having been so close to Mike Bickle. I look forward down the road to them and especially Sam helping us sort out the prophetic history and the very existence of IHOP KC from the beginning. Steve said, This whole thing has been built on a faulty prophetic foundation by men whose lives were deeply compromised by sin. The prophetic promise often proclaimed that Mike's brother Pat would be healed, was a lie. And if Mike's prophecy about Diane dying and him marrying Jane Doe is a lie, then we can likely dismiss any thoughts of Mike claiming to have ridden on chariots into the heavens, and having encounters with God and Michael the Archangel. From Augustine to Bob Jones, from Paul Kane to Mike Bickle, we've witnessed false prophecy being used for ungodly purposes. Catty said, Paul Kane and Bob Jones had a hand in creating this movement. Were they true disciples of Christ? Were their prophecies true prophecies? Brent said, It is important that Mike Bickle confess to making up a false vision to seduce Jane Doe by telling her his wife would die and they would marry. He also requested that Jane Doe make up a false prophecy that the Holy Spirit said everything was fine if information got out about his sin. This is pure evil. He is using what is sacred to advance and cover up his immorality. I hope leaders will address this audacious abuse of the gifts and wicked impersonation of the Holy Spirit. Stephen said, It seems to me that there should be an intense investigation of Mike Bickle, particularly his past. What happened in St. Louis? What was his association with a man named Augustine there? Most of these people at IHOP only know Mike Bickle from the last 20 years, but go back to the 1970s, 80s, and 90s. Tom said, I was raised in the Pentecostal Church, then spent some years in the Charismatic Movement before leaving for a long season to co-minister in another denomination. I have had some serious misgivings about the movement in general for quite a while. The greatest concern has been the lack of biblical teaching and an over-reliance on new revelation and the gifts of the Spirit, as if this is all that matters. Jesus commanded his disciples to make disciples, teaching them everything he taught them. Paul made it clear in Acts that he was careful to teach the whole counsel of God. Without proper grounding, and without the fear of the Lord, there is no discernment. I have heard all the latest revelations and popular teaching, and I am aware of the schools of ministry out there. In my opinion, most of it is nonsense. Mike Bickle is a symptom of a much greater problem. The charismatic movement needs an Asbury call to repent and return to the truth of Christ, and far fewer revelations. I would much rather have long periods of no prophecy and solid words of guidance and correction from God for the church than crazy stuff by, or for, personalities. I don't want goofy new unbiblical experiential deceptions spouted by everyone who thinks they're a prophet. Mary said, Thank you for speaking out. It is horrendous that no one dealt with this decades ago. If the prophetic is real, why didn't God communicate to someone in this vast community about this sin of Bickle? I think the prophetic stuff is a satanic deception. If God were truly speaking, there would be no error, and the prophets would be warning of the coming judgment. Mark said, Sam, in your recent Remnant radio series, you were asked why Mike Bickle uniquely has so many prophetic experiences. You replied that Mike just may be a special anointed man of God that God wants to use. In light of what you now know, do you have any reflections on your previous words? <laughs>